What is up guys? Tripping back for you guys another best video. Uh, ever since the force update, I know a lot of you guys have been um, kind of in a pickle with the whole vending machine thing because the vending machine got patched. But as you can clearly see in front of me, um, I have a design here that you can get five vending machines, a large box and a small box within a square. Um, you can also support six vending machines and get rid of the small box. I'll show you guys on how to do that also. Um, the two things to note with this though, um, first off, you're going to need uh, a window on each side as you can see, and you're going to need a door. So if you put this in a 3x3, three three, obviously what I would recommend is, you know, have a window here. Obviously just like that so they can't just break the vending machines. And if that, you're going to have this wall here. You guys could upgrade that to armored if you wanted to. Uh, that's up to you guys, so. Um, first things first, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to build the one right here that's in front of us, the one with five enemy machines, and then I'll show you guys how you can build the one with six, right? So, obviously what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the square here. I'm just gonna place this one here, this was easy for me to place the vending machines. You need a window on both sides, like I said previously, and you're gonna need a door just like this, right? And it's kind of important when you do this, uh, you do it in the same exact steps that I do it. So what you're gonna do, you get your vending machine. All right, see how there's a, a boss side here, and then there's this front side. You need the front side to face you when you do this, all right? And what we're gonna do, uh, here, let me turn my crosshair on, is this line right here in the middle here, you need to line the right side of the vending machine up with that, all right? So if it's over just a little bit, that's fine. What I like to do is have it literally right on, right on that line, just like that. Put it as far back as you can, and we do the same design thing with the next one. Uh, it can overlap if you wanted to or clip into each other, it's up to you. Uh, and then what you're going to do is open it, rotate it. Make sure you turn your broadcasting off guys, alright, that's very important. And then what you do next, after you have them two in, make sure you have this one facing the right way, right? If you look on the right side of the door, it's going to be placing, they're facing the wrong way, right? Make sure you look on the left side, right? Place that random machine, turn the broadcasting off. And now you're gonna notice when you go to place these, you can't place them here, like this, right? So that's why I said when you do this, make sure you do it in the same order that I am. So you have to uh, come up here, make sure you don't have the roof placed yet. I know that's gonna suck when you guys are uh, building this in a base design, but that's all right. And then that's up you do is come up here and go as far to the right and as far back as you possibly can. All right, just like so. I like to make sure it's uh, perfectly straight. And then you just walk over, pull it back just a little bit. If you want, you can clip it into the next one, just like that. Hop down, open it, we'll rotate it. Make sure to the broadcast enough, like I said previously. Alright, do the same thing for both of them. Now, we can seal that off here. We can still put a door in. And then we come in here, we can place a, a large box and a small box. Alright, so we got the large box there. Got the small box, just like that. And then... Make sure we put the windows on. Now you're gonna notice there's two sides to the window. All right. It doesn't really matter what side you, you place it on. I just like to have it like this. That's totally up to you guys. All right. And then that is how you build the one with the five vending machines, right? Now we're gonna do uh, pretty much the same thing, but we're gonna use six vending machines instead, all right? So what you do, same thing for the whole setup here. All right, nothing too crazy. You can line the vending machine up exactly the same like that like I said uh, if you guys want you guys can clip it into the one on the side but no me for this side I don't really do that if you guys are worried about it you guys can clip it in. then we come back up here lining it up just like that come over then this is what I mean by clipping the steel this one overlaps the other one. It doesn't affect it all, at all, so. All right, and we're gonna rotate that. We're gonna put this boss in now, just like this. And what we're gonna do to place the sixth one is we're gonna place this door frame here. We're gonna come inside, look at this side just like that. And then we're gonna seal the top here with the ladder hatch. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Well. I'll just uh, replace it obviously, but I don't know why they did that, but you just have the um, 
I had to face the other way here. And I don't know why it's not breaking, but here. I'll just do it again. Alright, so like I said. Put these on the back side. Doesn't matter how far over you have these really. Just make sure that uh it's like this. A little bit of lag there. So if you have these too far back or uh, to the left side of the wall, you ain't gonna be able to place this vending machine here. That's why it's very important to try to have this one lined up with the center, right? And we'd like this. We'll rotate them. Put that in. Alright. And then like I said, we'll come back in here. Place that one. Um let me turn this off. Oh dang it. Place the hatch frame in. And then, uh, we get the ladder hatch here, just like that. And then the way that you're gonna get in here is you just come down, and then you shut the hatch here. Right? You can you can reach all the vending machines, the bots, and then they get out. You just open it just like that, and obviously you can get out just like that as well. Like I said, uh, if you guys want, you guys can put the windows down. Uh, I'd highly recommend it, just so they can't just uh, use ten rockets or whatever it is to break the vending machines. You'd have to use another four to break the window to break the, the vending machine. So essentially, it'd be the same as a, an armored wall. So if I would use this, you know, armor them up. Now this side right here is gonna be the weakest side here, obviously, just for the simple fact that the vending machine is in the door frame here. But that's all right. So yeah, the ice, there you go. You have two different um, ones you guys can build. You guys can build the one with the six vending machines, or you guys can do the one with the five vending machines. They both have a large boss. But the 5 vending machine has the small bus there, so. Yeah, you guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I have another video that's going to be coming out later today. Um, here's a little gl glimpse of what the video is going to be here. As you guys can see, I got a new base design here. Um, so if you guys do want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Turn the notification bell on. But this has been Jippin', guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.